Welcome back to Mulca Mulcahy Stadium. Jay Sanders alongside Drake Toll. 7-5 the score as the Oilers cut him the lead, getting three in the top of the seventh. Appreciate you joining us here on the Anchorage Bucks Baseball Network as it'll be 4-5-6 and six for the Bucks here in the bottom of the seventh. Leading off will be Zach Thomas to start this inning. And Connor Thronberry out of the pen for the Oilers here. Thronberry 0 for 2 this season, a 2.25 ERA, has started one game, has come in four times this year. Pitched in eight innings, has 11 strikeouts, five walks, six hits in those eight innings. And two of those appearances were against the Bucks. Yep. Yep. On June 8th, went two innings, walked one, struck out six in a 6-2 to two loss. That's when the, the one the Bucks were down 2 nothing and came back in the eighth inning. Then in a 5-3 loss against the Bucks, went four innings pitched, allowed two earned runs, five hits, a couple of walks, four strikeouts through 19 batters faced. Watched up high on the first pitch to Thomas. Thomas given here with a 357 batting average. That has dropped after an 0-3 for three day and down, down to 294. Still very good. But wanting to get on the board here, 1-0. It's a strike there, 1-1. One one. Thronberry stands at 6'6", six six, 230 pounds out of Penn State, sophomore. 1-1, one, one, taking four strike, it's 1-2. 0-2, fouled off. That's a good 1-2 pitch there, staying in the zone. And after the Oilers stole the momentum at the top of the seventh, I think it's what Thornberry wants to do, just pound the zone here. 1-2. Fouled off. Seven to five, the score. Bucks still on top by two as we're in the bottom of the seventh inning. Throne Barry looks in. Pitch outside. Two balls, two strikes on the batter, Zach Thomas. Who's leading off the bottom of the seventh? Bucks trying to gain some cushion back. Line down the left field line. It's foul. Only by about a foot over there, and very close. The sun has retracted back behind the clouds again here. You can see the bullpen is all bundled up. Those guys sitting yeah. over there. It goes from very hot to very cool yeah. very quickly. Two balls, two strikes. Thrown Barry to Thomas. Through the right side for a base hit for Zach Thomas. So for three, he wants to get on base. Does it himself with a single that time. Yeah, good piece of hitting by Thomas. Got out in front of it and goes the other way. Dante Turgeon steps up. Over two with a hit by pitch and a run scored this evening. He's got a runner at first in the form of Zach Thomas trying to increase this two run lead for the Bucks. I'm Tate Turgeon, a whole lot of fans watching at home. Family members and former teammates, trainers. A lot Everybody. of people. Yeah, a lot of people rooting for him for, uh, from across the country. Chandler Gilbert Community College guy. Native of Arizona, though, right? Originally Arizona Correct. State. That was commitment wise. Yep, yep, yep. Outside for ball one. Wouldn't mind the Bucks add a couple extra runs here. Past year, Chandler Gilbert Turgeon at a 340 average, scoring 40 times. Watches this pitch for a ball. It's 2 0. Six homers, 15 doubles, two triples, and 41 RBI. Yeah. And he's got what? Four hits? Five. F four extra base hits. Yes, That's what it is. yes, yeah. yes, yes. Swings the ball outside there for the first strike of the A.B. Turgeon has the second most total bases in terms of college total bases on the team from this past season. Only guy beating him is Lex Bodeker. Turgeon with 102, Bodeker with 113. 2-1 pitch from Throneberry up high. It's 3-1. Hitters count. You get a walk or something you like if you're Turgeon here. Thronberry looks in, gets the sign from the catcher Chavez, checks on the runner at first, and Thomas. 
Here comes the 3-1 pitch. Taken for strike as Turgeon was about halfway towards first base. He threw the bat, was unhitching the gloves, and it's a called strike. Yeah, it's that pitch is outside. Chavez is reaching outside to grab it. Full count pitch now coming from Throneberry. Swing and a miss from Turgeon as he strikes out for the first out of the bottom of the seventh of the Bucks. Brings up Jacob Rebrook now. One up, that brings up third base with number 22, Jacob Rebrook. Rebrook one for three today, 269 average on the year. Seven hits this season, four RBI. Walked three times, struck out six times. From the Woodlands, Texas. The Woodlands. First pitch to him. It's going to be bounced in there. Nice block by Chavez, and it's no balls, or rather one ball and no strikes. Ten White. hits today for the Bucks. It's a pretty good day at the plate. Yeah. And you're in the bottom of the seventh, too. Yeah. Hopefully more to come. Pickoff attempt is nowhere Whoa. close, just making sure to keep an eye over there. Yeah. Wind has been pretty steadily coming in towards left field. Kind of going across the diamond in some aspects. 1-0 pitch from Thronberry. Fouled off by Rebrook at home plate. It's 1-1. One one. Bucks came into the game with a 272 team average. Definitely raised that today. Tied with the Pilots? Yeah, they sure did. Tied with the Pilots for best in the league. 1-1, one, one. runner takes off, and Thomas it bounces up there, and Thomas easily has second. You had a 7-2 lead, then you give up three <laughs> runs. Now you got a guy in scoring position again. Great time to tack on another. Perfect time here. Rebrick at the plate, who's due for a hit today. 2-1 pitch. Taken for a strike, inside part. Right there at the knees, and that's going to warrant a visit from Chavez to his pitcher, Throneberry. Can mention both of these teams have a 4-5 and five record this season. They'll meet again on Tuesday for a five-game series in Kenai. Me and Jacob Rupert have a pretty good connection. I was actually born in the Woodlands. Really? Technically, my, life, my birth certificate says Shenandoah, but it's the Woodlands. 2-2. On the ground to the first baseman, Costello grabs and tells Thronberry he's got it as he takes it to first himself. There's two outs now, but Thomas does move up to third. Don't want to strand him there. Now it is up to Trent Burkhalter to get him home. Or pass ball. Burkhalter, one for one. But has reached base every time he stepped up. Been a hard guy to get out. As an insurance run standing at third base for him. Bounced up there. Nice block by Chavez. It's one and out. Per Coulter has two runs scored tonight. He only buck with multiple runs. He was on base for both of the three run hits, right? The homer and the triple. 1-0 outside. 2-0. Two outs with a 2-0 count to Trenton Burkhalter, the catcher this evening for the Bucks. He has now walked three times this season. He watches a strike on that pitch. Fastball from Throneberry. The Oilers have used four pitchers tonight. 2-1. It's going to be taken for a strike in the river there. Yeah, you, you like that when it works in your favor as it did a lot of the night for Blake Lobel but that's just that's just not a strike we're sitting right behind the plate who's on the board two balls two strikes two outs the pitch from Thronberry fouled off as Burkhalter stays alive sun was very prevalent in the early part of this game clouds have blocked it now yep it's gotten cold again 2-2 once again that's outside, and I tell you, 
That's the way the night has yep. gone as the entire Oilers infielder right. made a step towards the dugout. That is a uh, that's been a strike all night. I, I I don't doubt it. That ball is an inch or two off the outside part of the plate to the righties, but it's been a strike all night. So I keep throwing there. Full count pitch now from Thronberry. That time he gets the strike call. Trenton Burkhalter set down for the first time tonight, this time on strikes, as we'll head to the eighth. Bucks still on top, seven to five on the Anchorage Bucks Baseball Network. Welcome back here. Bucks lead seven to six on the Anchorage Bucks Baseball Network. Drake Toll alongside me. I'm Jay Sanders here, and we're glad you've joined us for what has ended up being a very competitive game. Bucks had a seven two lead just two innings ago, but three runs in the top of the seventh, one run in the top of the eighth for the Oilers has brought it now to a one run game. As Connor Thronberry back on the mound for his second inning of work. Yeah, Thronberry uh, left a man stranded for the Bucks in the bottom of the eighth. And this team has hit him before. This is the third time they faced Thronberry. Would really feel good to at least get a run of insurance. It'll be A Bear, Lacey, and Bodeker, 8 9 1. And A Bear and Lacey have combined for six of the seven RBI tonight. Lacey with the three run homer. A Bear with the three RBI triple as he cleared the bases. Watches the first pitch for a strike. A breaking pitch catches the outside pit, outside part of the zone. A Bear thought about it early, but I think he was more expecting fastball. Home plate umpire has donned his winter gloves. That pitch outside there, fastball. Missed the location, one and one. Happy June 16th, my friend. Yeah. Very hard to believe. 1-1. One, one. Taking first strike. 1-2. A-Bear doesn't like the call, and you can kind of hear the Bucks dugout giving a little bit of they like to chirp a bit. input. This is Thronberry's fifth appearance in Alaska. 1-2. That's a strike called on the outside part. A-Bear doesn't like it, but that's been a strike all game. He'll be set down. And there's one gone here in the top, or rather bottom of the eighth. And I get Cade Lacey, who homered earlier tonight. He's batting 238 this year. Thronberry has pitched on June 7th, 8th, June 11th, 14th, and 16th. That's They're a lot using of this game. Yeah, Summer League Baseball. Inside pitch. Well, I'll tell you what that may be, and I don't know if this is true, so I'm not stating facts Speculation, here. yeah. But... Thronberry could be one of those guys where he's only here for June. 1-0, foul back, right towards the mic, and I tell you, I is a uh, fast when it comes up here. There goes the left ear drum. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. But he could be one of those guys where he's only here for a certain amount of time, so they're using him as if it's almost the end of the season in some ways. 1-1's one, up high. Yeah, two, one. From I don't. An arm but health that's a standpoint, lot. yeah. Now it is only eight innings. So fair, I, I don't think he had many, if at any, appearances at Penn State this past no, year. But so. the, even, you know. 2-1 up high, 3-1. and one. And Now you're giving this guy a, a really heavy workload oh, yes. of live action over the course of not even, I mean, it's nine days. Heck, th is this the ninth official game for the Oilers, I think? I think so. 3-1. Fouled off by Lacey. Uh, tenth, Stay back on it. Tenth, and wow. he's pitching half of them. There you go. I just, if you're a college head coach and you're – Big six foot six sophomore righty is throwing five out of ten games. Oh, not appreciative. No. Full count pitch coming to Cade Lacey. Lined over the head of the shortstop for a base hit. Lacey's on. Second base hit for Lacey today. As he'll reach and we'll go back to the top of the order with Lex Bodeker stepping up. All right, Lex. Insurance, my friend. He's one for four today, has scored a run. Good piece of hit there by Lacey. And now the lefty. University of Central Florida, Gold Knight. Left on right. Bodeker has the advantage. First pitch coming from Throneberry. Fast butt on the heart of the plate for a strike. Thronberry's got enough velo if Lex really wants to turn on one. Lacey at first. A one. Swung on a miss there. 
by Bodeker for strike two. There's one out in the inning, so less double play happens right here. It'll be Alex Pendergast stepping up to the plate next. Thronberry shakes off the first pitch, checks the runner at first. And here comes the 0-2. That one's outside and high for ball one. That was a swing me, swing at me pitch. Yeah. See if he can get him chasing. Lex has walked four times this season. In these first ten games. Bucks up by one, trying to get some cushion here. One, two. Swung on the inside pitch. It gets away from the catcher. There's a runner occupying first base. So Bodeker is out and Lacey moves back to first base as it didn't get too far away. Alex You're, Pendergast now yeah. steps up. The last shot at insurance here. And I believe you're right. As you mentioned, you think Weigert will come back out. There's nobody in the bullpen for the buck. So Weigert it is. He's Alex shut the door. Pendergast trying to keep the bottom of the eighth alive for the Bucks. Weigert has a save in front of him. Roanberry's pitch. It's outside. Pick back to first. Sliding back safely is Lacey. Be a big test of fortitude for Weigert. Pendergast has a couple extra base hits here in the ABL already. Lacey will be off on the crack of the bat. It's a fastball taken for a strike. I'll tell you, this is the first time I've seen it. There's a couple of fans in dead center field right now over the wall. Those are kids just came over from, uh, from their baseball game. They finished up at the field across from ours. There you go. 1-1. One, one. Foul tipped off the very edge of the bat by Pendergast. Alex struck out his last AB on an inside pitch that he did not think was a strike. Yeah. All right. I'd like some insurance. Eve, man, whatever good vibes you got, throw them, throw them right here. One ball, two strikes. Foul tipped again by Alex. Pendergast staying alive. Make him throw and bury work here. Runner goes. That's a hit up the middle right to the second baseman who was covering the bag as Groupie grabs and steps on second for the out just ahead of Lacey. And that'll land the bottom of the eighth. Bucks. Three outs to win it. They're up by one. We'll have the call here on the top of the ninth coming up on the Anchorage Bucks Baseball Network. <laughs> 